This video explains how to handle the error message undefined columns selected when subsetting a data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains four rows and the columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to extract only those rows of this data frame where the column x1 is larger than two. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in line seven. So in this line of code, I'm using square brackets and the creator then operator to extract certain rows. However, if you run this line of code, you can see that the error message error in data frame undefined columns selected is returned to the RStudio console. And the reason for that is that we have not specified whether we want to apply this logical condition to the rows or the columns of our data frame, because we have forgotten to insert a comma after this logical condition. So we can simply fix that by setting a comma after this logical condition to tell R that we want to apply this logical condition to the rows of our data frame, but we want to keep all the columns of our data frame. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that our subset is returned without any problems. So in this specific case, we have returned the rows three and four where the values three and four are appearing in the column X1. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.